Hey everybody, Hi, Lord Tamerlane back with more obscurities and miniatures. And today we got something that's gonna end up probably being pretty obscure, but this is the Alabaster Automata from Relic Knights. And say what you will about Relic Knights and Ninja Division and Soda Pop and all that and whatnot. But I figured, you know what, I know they're in a bit of a catch-22 and they had a very cool looking model, which obviously is supposed to be influenced, if I can get her in focus, by 2B from Nier. I figure, what the hey, I've got money to waste. <laughs> unfortunately, or I'm willing to waste money would be a better explanation. And I figured I'd give this model a try. Plus, I was just curious, these are their whole master class line of models that they are making to hopefully get things back on track with all those Kickstarters, which I am involved with both. So I would kind of like to see my models at some point. If it means I get a cool model in the meantime, then hey, so be it. So without further ado, because... I have not built a resin relic knight in, well, ever. Can I open the package? Yes, there we go. So, sadly, we don't have any kind of stat card, which I was hoping to see, but we do have an ad for the game, which gives me hope that someday I will actually see mine and... You guys will as well if you backed it. Of course, I need to contact them because I went and checked on their website now that they updated things, and it shows me having a super dungeon pledge, but no relic knights, and I don't know why that is. So now, funny thing, I backed the relic knights Kickstarter basically because I've liked a lot of the resin models that Protoss was developing and obviously back when things were a bit better looking um, we had a lot of Protoss sculpted models on display which I was quite keen on and this does not seem like Protoss. I have actually no idea who sculpted, not sculpted, well I don't know who sculpted it either but if you have any knowledge you can shoot that my way that'd be awesome but I'm not sure where this was cast. I'm quite curious so if you have any clues or indications or if you work for somebody who was involved seriously let me know i'm curious overall quality is nice and clean it doesn't feel very brittle not a lot of flash hanging around on there i'm actually surprised that the bulk of this is one piece i figured it was going to be like four or five pieces and i was gonna be cussing up a storm trying to figure out how everything goes together we do have this extra bit of chain not sure where that goes we'll figure it out here we have our automata herself and you can see she's pretty well cast I mean, it's not like Kingdom Death level models, but, you know, it is what it is. My biggest gripe is that her pose doesn't really match. Well, maybe it doesn't. I just couldn't tell. It doesn't seem to match exactly with what's going on in the picture. And she's got that weird 90s, I'm going to let you look at my cleavage and my butt at the same time pose going on. But, you know, I guess that's what sells. <sighs> Sadly. Anyway, I'm not even sure how she's going to attach to this base. I'm going to grab some clippers and I'm going to see if I can figure things out. I'm assuming there's these little, I don't know if those are actually supposed to be little tatters in this robe thing. It looks like it. Because there's a couple here and there. Right? It's not just bad casting quality, is it? Nah, I think it's supposed to be like that. Anyway, let's grab those clippers and let's see what's up with this model. And <laughs> I don't know if I even own any Relic Knight models anymore. I think those have gone on to the great beyond. I might have a few no models, but that's not going to help much in terms of scale. I'll grab a couple other figures and we'll see how she compares. Yeah. All right, we got our Alabaster Automata all finished up here. You can see kind of an interesting design. I mean, it's just, it's not something we see very often. And immediately, the first thing I thought of when I saw the artwork and the model itself was it reminded me of something you would have seen out of uh, the board game Madara from Succubus Publishing. Something about it just, it has that very anime appeal to it, very anime styling. And sadly, I can't find any of my painted relic knights outside of a couple of Oni. So, <laughs> he doesn't even fit on the screen, sadly. But there's Mamoroto and one of the Oni. So you can see at least she's, I guess, in scale with them. I do have one of my Witch Hunter friends handy. Sorry, Mamoroto, as much as I enjoy your figure. 
So you can see, I mean, she is human scale, but she's obviously going to be a little bit larger with her weapon that she's attached to there. To me, they're more along the lines of a Kingdom Death figure in size. And I gotta say, since I haven't commented on the actual construction, as I just pile other figures onto the screen here. So it was pretty easy. We had a little spot for her hand to attach here. We had a nice little indentation for her leg on the blade itself. And then the chains were a kind of cool little connection, so they just kind of latched on to a filled-in piece. So it was actually really clear, really easy to get those chains attached and all on there. I keep thinking this is a foot, but that's actually her loincloth. Her foot's actually hiding back here. So just in case you got confused like I did. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I still would like to know who actually sculpted this or what studio cast it. Um, hopefully these are a success for Soda Pop and we can see our Kickstarter rewards released in some way, shape, or form in the near future. Uh, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out on what other kinds of resins they have on offer. I gotta admit, it was not the cheapest. It was, in fact, a bit pricey, but it looks like it'll be a fun model to paint. And the quality itself is pretty nice and sturdy. I don't have any real complaints with what I've received here. So, if we continue to see things like this, I will continue to have to pick them up. So hopefully whatever our next Masterclass resin model is, is something as stylish as our Alabaster Automata here. With that said, this is High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying, hey, go help Soda Pop so I can get my stuff, guys. Come on, please. I put way too much money into it, and I really want that. Nah, just check out some of our other videos. Hit that subscribe button. we got plenty more where this came from. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.